Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Wostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. You can find information about uh, this video channel at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. That's actually the main site of this YouTube channel, video channel, as long as YouTube lets me have it. And then um, you can find information about online seminars and study manuals for exams, PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer at the sites that I list here. BTDT in every one of them stands for been there, done that. That's my method uh, for studying for actuarial exams. You have to be so prepared for the exams that when you look at every problem on the test, you are able to say, been there, done that. You have to cover everything, learn everything, never skip anything, and do enough practice problems so that every time you look at a problem on the test, you know what to do immediately. There is no time for thinking on the actuarial exams. Thinking is the last resort of the unprepared. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer um, support uh, for scholarships for uh, actuarial students at Illinois State University, you can go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam FM on financial mathematics. A bond will pay a coupon of 100 at the end of each of the next three years and will pay the face amount of 1,000 at the end of the three-year period. The bond's Macaulay duration, when valued using an annual effective interest rate of 20%, is X. Calculate X. So this is a three-year bond. It's not really that complicated. We calculate the Macaulay duration just straight from the first principles using the um, interest rate that is given as 20%, and we calculate it as a weighted average time until payment. So it's 1 times 100 times 1.2 to the negative 1, plus 2 times 100 times 1.2 to the negative 2, plus 3 times 1100, because the payment at time 3 is 1100, times uh, 1.2 to the negative 3, and all this is divided by the current price of the bond. So if you took the numbers uh, that are in front of times of payments, 1, 2, 3, and divide them by that bottom part, these would be the weights of the times. And this is approximately 2131.94 over 789.35 because there's only three payments, there's not much calculation in this. And that's approximately, the ratio is appro divided by 789.35, the ratio is approximately 2.7008797, which is answer B. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.